with reaction. Circa News investigative reporter Sarah Carter. All right. The first thing I got out of this, I said, you go, Sarah, you go, John, because everything you've been telling our audience for two weeks was validated today. Let's start there. Uh, yeah, it's true. I mean, we talked about the fact that the FBI had conducted a traditional investigation into Trump's server that was located outside of Trump Tower and that they found no, inf no evidence of criminality uh, at all in the server, the pings that were reported between his server and the Russian bank. We also talked about the FISA and that there was an overall investigation into Russian hacking. This proved out to be true. And I want to bring up something that you just talked about, Sean, that's so important. There's also no evidence, according to our sources, of any collusion between Trump or his team and Russia and the Russian hacking. So we've seen that from Senator Grassley. We've seen it from Chairman Nunez. We've heard it from Clapper. We've heard it from numerous other sources, people who support Hillary Clinton, like former acting CIA acting director Mike Morrell, who all have said there is no evidence to date to support that. But that was one of the things that was not answered at the hearing. You know, and the, the destroy Trump media is very interesting how they spun this thing today. The FBI wouldn't confirm or, or uh, th that the tweet of Donald Trump about wiretapping by the Obama administration. Interesting. Wiretapping and surveillance technically are two different things, but I would argue we may be parsing words. Nobody asked if the Trump server at any point was surveilled, the Trump Tower server was surveilled at any point by any law enforcement and whether or not James Comey knew it. Wouldn't that be the better question to have asked? Yeah, I think that would have been the better question to have asked. And it goes way beyond that. Okay, physical wiretapping of Trump Tower, okay, that's what they've said. That that's the evidence. Even Nunez came out and said, okay, there is no evidence of physical wiretapping at Trump Tower. But remember, Chairman Nunez went further. He said, but was there surveillance in general? Was Flynn the only one? We know for a fact that people had unmasked Flynn's name in his conversation with the Russian ambassador and that that leaked. Was that the only name? Are there more names out there? How many people saw unredacted transcripts of phone conversations between Trump and his associates and foreign leaders? Because remember what the FISA covers, Sean. Right. It covers the foreign leaders. So anytime Trump, President Trump, back then candidate Trump, made a phone call to a foreign leader or spoke to them, was that viewed by others? I mean, that's something that Nunez, Chairman Nunez, and you others know, want to know. You know what's sad is that the director of the FBI, who doesn't comment on ongoing investigations, well, he commented on an investigation that you've been reporting on for two weeks, that, in fact, there were two warrants issued. One was FISA, one was non-FISA. And it was not against Trump, but it was into the Russian influencing or attempt to influence of the election. It has nothing to do with Donald Trump. In an answer, ancillary area, when it did, they looked into the Trump server. They found nothing. He didn't say that today. Why? And, and how important is that for the public to know? Well, he's very limited on what he can say because the DOJ gives him those parameters, right? The Department of Justice says these are the parameters in which you can disclose this information. And maybe because the report isn't closed yet, the investigation is still ongoing, he didn't answer those questions. What we do know, and I've contacted the DOJ, I asked them, is there an investigation into the leak? Have you given permission for the FBI to investigate that leak? They would not answer me either way. But we do know from the sources we've been why speaking they selective in, in what investigations they're willing to comment on when they don't comment on investigations. Exactly. I mean, that's a very good point, and they won't answer that. But what we do know is, according to our sources at the FBI and on the Hill, they have not been given that right. permission Last yet. Last question. Um, the real story is seeming to move in a political direction. Where are we in terms of that? Well, we are continuing to investigate that. I mean, I think the biggest question here is, was intelligence politicized? How was it politicized? And when we're looking at the FISA, possible, what are our rights? Is it possible top intelligence people, Trey Gowdy went through the list of people that would have had access to this information, especially after Executive Order 12333 was expanded to 16 other agencies, naming specific names. Now, I... Trey Gowdy's never lost a case as a prosecutor. I assume he was setting the table for future investigations and questions that would directly relate to who knew what when. Yeah. Of I the mean, names he that he listed, true or false? He mentioned, true. I mean, he mentioned Susan Rice. He mentioned Ben Rhodes. Yep. He mentioned Director Brennan. I mean, there is a list of people. And there could that, be a top a intelligence list. leak. When that is the issue, and that's the, that's the felony we know that was committed. 
right? That's correct. That is right. correct. But whether it's investigated, we just don't know if it's going to go that far. All right, great and work, Sarah. We'll continue. We've been way ahead of the curve. We've been telling people for two weeks they're not listening yet. Thanks for being with us.